Hello, my name is Roberto Lopez. I'm a gear up tutor at Riverside Middle School. My major is computer science, and I'm doing a concentration in cybersecurity. I went to El Dorado High School in the year 2017, and um, I'm further pursuing a master's degree in software engineering. Today we're gonna to be talking about a profession called computer science professor, so please bear with me. So what makes computer science so special? Well, it's not only the number one career this year and the upcoming years, but it guarantees work security since its job demand is greater than the people applying to those jobs. Also, the field is so large that you could work from anywhere. This includes your home, any company, and any government. There are more perks about this career that we will cover eventually. What does a computer professor do? For starters, the same as any other teacher, but this time is focused on computer-related subjects such as programming, systems problem solving, organizing and planning work, and more subjects for university or college institutions. 5 Reason Why to Become a Teacher Number 1 is Summer Vacations. This profession is known for giving its employees the longest vacations paid. Number 2, you get a fresh start every year. If you ever feel exhausted of the same people you can feel okay that the next year another generation will arrive. Number 3, it's a very dynamic field. Depending on the grade level that you are in, this profession gives you access to teach many subjects in case you get bored in any of them. Number 4, you can influence the future generation. And lastly, number 5, show your passion to the students. Why to become a computer science professor? First let's identify what a computer science professor do. Teach courses in computer science. May specialize in a field of computer science such as the design and function of computers or operations and research analysis. Includes both teachers primarily engaged in teaching and those who do a combination of teaching and research. Being a teacher has its perks, but what if you include a higher degree, in this case, computer science? Being a professor in computer science gives you access to both perks. As a master in computer science, you know how to do anything with that career and you can have opportunities outside of just being a teacher. An example would be, Let's say you just finished giving lecture, and you have time to continue with an outside project that will give you a lot of money, by the way, this is very common. What type of education do you need to get to this professions? In most universities it is required that professors have at least a doctoral degree in the field that they want to teach. There are exceptions with master's degrees depending on the subject. Students expect their professors to be masters in their field. The skills required for this profession would be the same as a computer scientist plus the one for a university professor. This includes like mentioned, mathematics, problem solving, patient, creative, dedicated, open, fast learned, knowledge in many programming languages, great communication skills, writing and presenting, and lastly delivery skills. These are a couple of many skills needed and they will guarantee success. The median salary of a professor is 90,000. However, this depends on the university. For example, professors in Ivy League universities earn a total of 200,000 and above. These universities include Harvard, Princeton, Columbia, and so on. The lowest salary in an Ivy League university would be around 150000 Is something you have to consider when applying to these jobs. We'll talk about the top 10 universities to get a computer science degree. Number 1, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It is a small institution with an enrollment of 4,510 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the MIT acceptance rate is only 7%. Number 2, Stanford University, it is a mid-size institution with an enrollment of 7,064 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Stanford acceptance rate is only 5%. Number 3, Carnegie Mellon University, in this university, the acceptance rate is a little bit higher compared the past two, it's around 22%. This institution has an enrollment of 6,298 students with a graduation rate of 89%. Number 4, Millersville University of Pennsylvania, the acceptance rate is 79%, this institution has an enrollment of 5,671 students with a graduation rate of 62%. Number 5, 
California Institute of Technology, it is a small institution with an enrollment of 961 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Caltech acceptance rate is only 8%. Number 6, Harvard University, T is a mid-size institution with an enrollment of 7,147 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Harvard acceptance rate is only 5%. Number 7, Yale University, the acceptance rate is 7%. This institution has an enrollment of 5,743 students with a graduation rate of 97%. Number 8, Brown University, it is a mid-size institution with an enrollment of 6,666 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Brown acceptance rate is only 8%. Number 9, Columbia University, it is a mid-size institution with an enrollment of 7,592 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Columbia acceptance rate is only 7%. And lastly, number 10, which is Duke University, it is a mid-size institution with an enrollment of 6,669 undergraduate students. Admissions is extremely competitive as the Duke acceptance rate is only 10%. Thank you for listening to this video. I hope this helped you get informed in the type of career you want to pursue. Thank you very much and I hope you have a fantastic day.